It's a ghost act. This could be a good swap. I'm definitely down for a swap here for the second run. Either it's going to go badly and I don't feel bad for losing it, or it's going to go well and I don't have to try to win it. <laughs> do often get asked, when is the best time to click the boss swap button? Here's a different way of phrasing it. Click the boss swap button when you want your run to be either very hard or very easy, and you don't want to know which one. I do like it here. Let's see, we have a no elite path, right? Yeah, we can opt out. We have a several elite path too. Okay, I'm gonna boss swap here. Lose the starting relic, gain a random boss relic. Oh, 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 oh. very easy it is, my favorite. We get a Pandora's box with four rare cards. And some other stuff. Berserk Barricade Brutality doesn't seem that good, but Feed sure does. Perfected Strike is bad. Two cost deal six, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty terrible, actually. That's okay, we got True Grit, we got True Grit. We got True Grit and Feed and Sever Soul. And that's fine, Sever Soul gets rid of the bad powers here. We could even remove a card immediately at the shop if we really want to dunk one of the rares, like the Berserk. I could see removing immediately here at the shop. I think we're in pretty good shape to go with several elites this act once we just, just need to eat a few minions, upgrade a card or two, and this deck will perform really solidly. Perfected Strike worse than regular Strike somehow. You think it's worse than Berserk? I don't know if I agree with that. Hmm, we could go for the Burning Elite. Less total rest sites, though. We want the upgrades. I like this green path. No, I like this green path a lot. And yeah, let's hit the early shop, perhaps. Maybe we'll remove a card. Easy feed every time. And then what? I play Berserk Bash? Sever Soul instantly kills, and if I don't get Sever Soul... What's my line? Spot weakness clothesline won't kill. I could guarantee it with brutality. Or I could not play the berserk, and then I could do clothesline true grit, and that's pretty good. Right, Clothesline True Grit would be 5 block, 7 incoming attack, so 2 damage. And that's only 1 in 6 to take 2 damage. Versus guaranteed 1. So now we take the uh, 1 in 6 here. Goes to 20. Actually, Spot Weakness Clothesline does kill, so it's a guarantee. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. No need to overthink it. Bommel Strike. Perfectly cromulent attack card makes Perfected Strike 25% more powerful. There's also Cleave here, and Cleave is fine. Bommel. Ah. On sale, Hemo. Rip to Karen's Ashes and Potion Belts. Barricade feels like the kind of card that'll be good later, so even though it's bad now, I don't want to get rid of it. Hard to imagine Perfected Strike ever being good. Oh yeah, thanks for the reminder. Streak up three indeed is where we're at. That was a really hard run. Rupture. Rupture could do work with Brutality, definitely. Already got a way to scale strength, but we could take more. 
think I'd rather dunk our worst card. Probably the P-Strike. Though Berserk is tempting, too. Stay a while and listen. <clears throat> Seems fine. Be back for you, Feed. Speaking 12 to Jawworm is a time honored tradition. At least get three of it back. Get our first potion. Not a bad potion either. Body Slam, Seeing Red, Thunderclap. Hmm. Not the world's worst Thunderclap. Pretty much is the world's worst Body Slam. Really have to take anything. I guess I won't take anything, that is. Body Slam goes with Barricade, obviously. I mean, what do they think we're missing here? Come on. Next for nine, next turn. Clothesline, True Grit, Woodblock. Bash Pummel first. Okay, no Clothesline. Uh, I sever soul true grit. No, we just sever soul feet. We just sever soul feet. Don't overthink it. All right, good fight. That's a better way to spin. I actually am totally down with the metallic size as well, or a uh, iron wave. I'm actually very happy with iron wave in the current predicament here. I like it with strength, just fine. Doesn't get exhausted by Pepper Soul. How's it going, Brosazog? If I allowed myself to utilize the Pandora's glitch in my games, how often do I suppose I would take advantage of it? Probably not that often. Maybe less than half the time I take Pandora's box. I think you usually get pretty good cards. Good enough to want to keep them. And I don't often build small decks that would be able to really take advantage of all the free removes. It's like half a dash. But it scales with... Uh, bot weakness is the real advantage to Iron Wave. Let's snag that. Ooh, and we get an early remove transform upgrade. This is a great opportunity to get ahead on upgrades, and that would let us upgrade Feed, potentially, although not first. We should upgrade maybe Berserk or True Grit or Pummel Strike first. Or even Iron Wave. Basically, I want all these cards to say plus. I do like the Iron Wave upgrade. Lots of upgrades I like. Berserk upgrade is kind of cool. We can do that next, actually. Do like Iron Wave Berserk feed. Yeah, let's try that order. Iron Wave Berserk feed. Suddenly begin to feel very real. Lagavulin. Perfect. So the Berserk upgrade, not so helpful here. We could actually play Barricade in this fight. I'm down. Barricade, get in here. Amazing. And then we can play Bash. Never Soul? 
No, we should probably do Iron Way Brutality here. Or I could do Brutality Sever Soul. That's also fine. Then I'll draw basically all the cards every turn. Although that would mean whiffing spot weakness, which I don't love. No, let's play the Iron Wave. I want spot weakness. Said. I want spot weakness. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. We otherwise clobber this fight. Getting Orichalcum. If we enter turn without any block, gain six block. Very good. Armaments can potentially upgrade the feed as well as other things. Might be a better upgrade than the feed, especially with how small the deck is. I don't like that. That said, I, I do just want to upgrade the feed outright. Don't like Rupture. Don't like Rupture. No. <laughs> I really don't like Rupture. Even when I've already got a Brutality, I don't like Rupture. I just don't like that card very much. Why not the Rupture? Because ultimately I have to draw and play the Brutality, then draw and play the Rupture, and then wait at least one turn. Too many steps. Just too many steps. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'll play Brutality. Played as well. Yeah. Never dead, right? Correct. Be back. Good. This is acceptable. Just to have something to scale with strength a little bit better than one times. What's my favorite scaling card to win with? Or to kill with? Oh, I see it. You're talking Ritual Dagger, Feed, the other thing. I like Ritual Dagger, I think, the most. If I have them all, that's probably the one I'm upgrading. I need this, though. Pretty sure we destroy Hexaghost, even with what we have. I don't think I'm going to bother. Don't think I'm going to bother. But Berserk. Do I bother with Berserk? I think it's worth it. Or a Calcum, go! <laughs> Playing Armaments is bad because it loses me block. No such plans, Faley, but Spirit Island is more than welcome on the game boat. P 
Spirit is land. Boot thingy. On turn two, gain 14 block. One of my favorite early game relics. Exhum is here which can get us a second feed, and therefore I'm freaking taking it. Even though it's a little bit awkward in the short term. And I upgrade what? Arma next? I guess so. I guess so. 250 max health run. It could happen. Could happen. It's to nine. But then you're weakened next turn. I don't care if you're weakened next turn. I have a full block. So, Iron Wave, True Grit, but then I don't do any damage. Alright, if you weaken next turn. One has got to deal damage. Don't need dual wield and exhum. That's overkill. Either Legavulin or Grumla Knob. Lega's free. It's Knob. I think I prefer the Distilled Chaos. Keep these potions. Bash Iron Wave. So, you will hold for future upgraded powers. There's an option. An exhum feed next turn, so we can play Sever Soul Feed. We deal twenty four plus eighteen time. Then next turn we can play Pummel Strike, Exhum, Feed. Actually, we can do Armaments, Exhum, Feed, Pummel Strike Plus. So we deal 22 more damage. Get this to 64. We're three damage short currently. Easiest solve is a dupe pot then. Or we play the Brutality and we look for... No, we don't have a third damage card. We have no energy. So there's no point in playing Brutality, I don't think. If we use the Distilled, I think we mess up our Feed Kill. So the easiest solve is the Dupe Pot. We get a Molten Egg. Any attacks we add from here on out, say plus. Rampage. I'll take the Shrug, thanks. Egg. Oh, we only need one more, right? We got two out of three cards are upgraded. That's not quite true, but two out of three card types are upgraded. I think we're upgrading True Grit for Hexaghost. We should be able to outscale Ghost with Spot Weakness pretty easily. Although we may need to use the Distilled Chaos at a key moment. Build your own Apotheosis, it's true. Making this armaments look pretty stupid. If I play Barricade, I actually get 6 block from Oracalcum that I get to keep, and then we get 20 block with Horncleat. That's amazing. Alright. Barricade or a Calcum Synergy. Go. And then, we, yeah, we definitely play Brutality in this fight. Pummel first. You can arm a Shrug, I guess. 
Now we play this. 100% we play the spot weakness every time. And then armament, spot weakness, bash. Now we have the damage. That we've always wanted. Probably want to play Feed and then Exhume it. Here's a good chance to do that. That's what barricade is for. All right, easy feed every time. Oh, it's a pretty ludicrously good act one. We got rid of every strike and defend. We ensured that every card in the future will be upgraded. We got our max health over a hundred. And yeah, life is pretty good. Which upgraded rare power do we want, if any of them? None of them? Might be none of them. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more. Demon form may be the most takeable of these, but still not particularly takeable. I've already got a three cost power. Having two of them is awkward AF. Leonard Ville, thanks for the prime sub in the 16 months. Sweet 16. I'll skip these. A mid. In case the run wasn't easy enough, we can retain our hand every turn. Love that with Berserk, especially. Berserk providing energy for Pyramid is so nice. If we want upfront energy, there's Cursed Key, allowing us to uh, gain energy every turn, but being cursed upon opening a non-boss chest. Not too bad with the True Grit and the Sever Soul. Or Sacred Bark, probably a distant third here, double the effectiveness of potions. Another three energy run with Berserk? It won't be three energy. Not at all. Pyramid also makes feed very easy to land, of course, which is another good reason to take it here. How do we feel about elites? Pretty capable. We could even do shop into fire into elite. That probably looks safest here of all of these configurations. Something like this, or we could even opt into second shop in case we have something like an old coin. That looks pretty good. Would I want to remove anything at the shop? Brutality is less good now with Pyramid. Maybe get rid of Brutality. Maybe. But first, we must survive the avocado. in hand. Brutality would be good for fire spirits. True. Guy is definitely tough on uh, floor one of the act. Definitely a bad time. Never going to give us an opportunity to play the Berserk here, unfortunately. We have to make do with three energy. Oh no, you jerk. Heck. I can't kill you either. Dang it. Arma Shrug? Is 
sadness. Arma again. All right. Seems fine. I suppose. starting to look upwards. I can play Berserk now. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we can. Okay, let's lose the barricade. We should be fine now. It was for the 21 again, but the debuffs are gone. We're fine here. There ain't nothing to be afraid of. The Amid strikes again. You get him, Iron Wave. Okay, that wasn't too, too bad. Body slam with a plus. Now we're talking. That'll take. With pyramid, with barricade, with boat thingy, there's a lot of reasons to want it. Finally, a fight where I could, at least in theory, eat two gentlemen. Considering distilled chaos here, although it might be a bit chaotic. Simply playing clothesline and being contented is fine. I think it's okay if we hit Sever Soul, right? Let's do it. <clears throat> Cinder's Bane was third. Okay. I guess we clothesline you now. <clears throat> and then your feed, feed food next turn. Mm, feed food. You love to eat it. Now I can play Berserk then. Cool. Delicious. Boomerang. Skills with strength pretty well. Blood for blood could be cool. Looks like our ultimate scaling damage is going to be the body slam, so maybe I don't need this boomerang. We'll skip. Relic for a curse. I actually don't have a really good removal here. Why don't we take a relic instead? Let's do it. It bronze scale. Start combat with three thorns. Just in time for snake plants. Although we also get uh, kind of a bad turn one draw. Also just in time for snake plants. So was that a good choice? Maybe a little unclear. Just a little bit unclear. Next turn we can Berserk. But will we need to? No. It's over. That card says Dark Embrace on it. I'm going to click on that. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw one card or upper Dolly's Mirror, too. 
duplicate a card, any card. I'm where you're. I'm where you are at, uh, Jimat. What about enlightenment in this shop? Reduce the cost of all cards in your hand to one this turn. So barricade costs one. Clothesline line costs one. Sever soul costs one. Bash costs one. That's kind of cool. Two pry for the good old days. Ah, uh, the mastery challenge. What a time. Act 2 Elite coming up. Looks like a good time for Swift Potion. And gets upgraded by Armaments. That's right. I like it. I like this as an energy generator for this deck. I'm going to grab it. And we're going to take the Swift Potion, too. As we go into our first Elite fight. As far as upgrades go, I like the Pommel Strike upgrade quite a bit right now. Yes, let us upgrade Pummel Strike. Do I have all the achievements in Spire? Yes, we even got them uh, all at once in an all achievements speedrun. Okay, great example of why we might want a Swift Potion. Gremlin Leader, definitely a bit of a toughie here. It's a bit better. I can get Barricade in play this turn. I like that. We can do Enlightenment... Bash, True Grit, Body Slam, Barricade, Berserk. Deleting, I guess, Exhum. Kills the Sneaky Gremlin. Builds up block for next turn. Seems cool to me. Yeah, we either lose Dark Embrace or we lose Exhum. I could rather lose Exhum. Don't need to multi-feed in this fight. Play this, take only two more. Play this. Tain our block. <clears throat> and we get 14 block just in case we do get attacked, which we didn't. I like it. Let's go Dark Embrace, Iron Wave. Next turn's a little iffy. There'll be three gremlins here. And we're getting attacked. Okay, spooky. Not outside of our control, though. Not great. Not terrible. Spot weakness, pommel strike, kills the sneaky gremlin. Let's start with that. Close line would KO you. Then we take a bunch. Or I can do what? True Grit Shrug? Take effectively nothing? Oh, that would also presumably let me draw into Body Slam, which is a good idea. I could go Enlightenment Sever Soul, and then I would guaranteed get Body Slam. Let's do that. Okay, cool. Then we can go Enlightenment, Bash, Lowe's Line, Dever Soul. Body Slam, Pummel Strike, Kill Next Turn. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. That was a great fight. Max health continues to go way up. 
We get two more random upgrades on skills, no less. The cards that we don't have upgraded natively. This is a card I'm much more willing to add in terms of strength scaling. Something like a Pummel. Another Pummel Strike or another Iron Wave is not bad either, actually. I'll take the second Pummel Strike. Nice. All right, now we can upgrade Enlightenment. Pretty much the whole deck is upgraded at this point. And I guess we're going to go for two more Elites. We don't have enough money, right? Unless... No, we don't have money. We have Calipers. At the start of our turn, lose 15 block rather than all of it. With an easy-to-get-into-play Barricade and a Runic Pyramid, I have a hard time imagining that I want Calipers. So I think I'm going to say no... I don't want that. Call it a day. Use you. Actually, this is fine. So I'm saying calipers wouldn't be good here. I am saying that. I know it might be hard to swallow, but it's the truth. Eat both of them. Like it. Delicious. Okay, now you can come along because I have Enlightenment and you are really cheap to play. Welcome. Welcome. Although I don't actually want to Enlightenment here, I can just play the Demon for him. And why not? Thorn's Pot, too. We have Pummel? We did not actually take Pummel. Pummel's not real. Bash Body Slam? Surely. be a brutality sort of situation. Definitely a damage raise here, so I don't mind the extra draw. Hmm. We have a kill next turn, presumably. Presumably. Tons of strength, so not too bad. We eat that book. We get a bag of marbles for vulnerable on turn one. Get a regen potion. We get a reaper. Oh my. Okay. Well, reaper with 150 health and demon form. And the other thing, too. Seems pretty good. <clears throat> How's it going, Skizzy Speedruns? <sighs> Saying I'm relatively new to this game. Just got my first win as Ironclad today. Is it more common that you lose or win your runs? Usually you're losing, gonna be honest. 
Um, especially on the highest ascension, it is very, very rare for players to become skilled enough to be able to win more than half their games if they're playing on the highest difficulty. That said, this game is very highly skill-based, and on the lower difficulties, it is entirely possible to win streak this game. It's a delicate mix of randomness and skill that you have to navigate navigate in Slay the Spire, but uh, skill does trump the randomness basically every time. All right, now I want to take more fights. Screw this rest site. I want to eat. I want to eat big. Big eats. You're gonna die, kid. Not much I can do about it, although maybe. No. You're dead. That is fine. by two. Love a Shockwave, generally speaking. Another great card with Enlightenment. Let's just fill the deck with high-cost cards now, I guess. What's the worst that could happen? Smiley face. Ow. Please no. Hmm, I see. To shreds, you say? And that Reaper stays one cost. They all stay one cost. It's so nice. Drink, hello? You're gonna have to die soon. Bud. So we can eat the Parasite next turn. is the easy way out. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. Not going to take an unupgraded shrug here. I don't think we need it. No thanks. Why is the defect win rate so much lower than Watcher and Clad? Well, uh, let's see. My current win rates are a little bit misleading because we've been not focusing on silent or defect. So I wouldn't wouldn't read too much into my silent and defect win rates right now. Uh, if you look at win rate 2022, you'll get a closer idea of where the four classes sit. That's how we did during our uh, 100 heart kills in one for each character in one year challenge. So we're at uh, 65 for Ironclad, 73 for Watcher, about 50% for Silent and Defect. But Defect is tough. I think in part because Defect matches up poorly against Act 4, the very ending of the game. You can really struggle in those fights. Uh-oh. Speaking of struggling... I'm about to get hit. Good news is we have 109 health, so this doesn't really matter. Ah! 
We take almost nothing as well. Pair your butts. Yoink. Beautiful. Immolate goes with our enlightenment tech. Do I actually want Immolate, though? I don't think so. No, I don't. And... I'm going to recall. Burns could be a true grit target. True. Very true. We have Art of War? I didn't even notice that. That's OP. Art of War, ridiculous here. Great turn one. Go Enlightenment. Should have shrugged first, actually. Fine, though. Yeah, very good turn one. She would like my Berserk back, though. Pro tip. I would like that back. Actually, that good at blocking. It's all good, though. Zoom Reaper. Probably worth it. All right, that's fine. GG. We went from 100 max health at the end of Act 1 to 150 max health at the end of Act 2. We're offered our third Berserk. I kind of want it. <laughs> I really do. Let's do it. Double Berserk run. Never done this before. Dragon House, thanks for the 28 months of support. How about a fusion hammer for more energy? Can no longer upgrade cards at rest sites, but what is there to upgrade exactly? Shockwave, mostly. An armor can do that. Could take Slaver's Collar if we still really want to upgrade. Calling Bell's not too bad, although the curse hurts a bit. Let's take Fusion Hammer. So yes, we took Double Berserk for the Mastery Challenge. Did, did we actually use them, though? Both of them? That I don't remember, if we did. 
Maybe we did. We're actually going to use both of these, which is very cool. Probably. Probably very cool. Numb. Thankfully, we do have a spiker solution. So much energy and so much card draw. We can do some really cool stuff. Liquid Memories is a pretty good potion. Flame Barrier is yet another card that's going to work wonders with this Enlightenment. So I will absolutely take a Flame Barrier here. Armaments can upgrade it, and it can get cheaper, too. You'd love to see it. Still be weak, still be Vol next turn, but I think we'll be fine with the additional energy. At least I certainly hope so. Embrace number two, maybe a little tempting. Burning Pact, however, very tempting. Very good for redrawing certain cards so we can cycle the shrug or anything, as well as burning down certain cards. Really good card. Now that we have more energy, that's spectacular. Feel no pain plus. Whenever we exhaust a card, gain four block. Pretty tempting. And Nib is here. Boone is here. Could take Panacea, maybe even Panacea Flex together. Panacea blocks the Berserks. Actually, wait, that's an amazing Panacea. Okay, I'll take Panacea. <laughs> sure. Block our Berserks. Let's take an event. Feel no panacea. Who's eight max? Ouch. Or receive two madnesses. Actually, wait, this deck loves madnesses. Get in here, madnesses. Make cards free instead of just cheap. Etc. There's Dark Embrace.
Zoom the Reaper, it's still free. Play it again. I have so much energy. What's happening here? Deck seems very strong. Now we can take a second Dark Embrace, but only if we really want one. I'm not sure that we do. Yeah, we do. Unlimited power. We did. We totally did. Pro tip. Good enough. Would have been good there. Easy game. Close to 200 max health here. Is the energy discount from Madness really worth, worth the lost card draw? Yes, it is when the Madness draws cards because of the Dark Embrace. So normally I would say no, Madnesses are not particularly worth it. But if you can get extra card draw out of them, then they, they start to pay for themselves very quickly. And because this deck can draw the same few cards over and over again, having a couple of them be zero cost is extra valuable. They're double feed. I like it. So a dark embrace drawing, no problem. No frail for me either. could go infinite with Shrug Pummel Strike with Madness, that's correct. And yes, it's also correct that we wouldn't need to. We could. We totally could. Upgrade a card in our deck. We can upgrade Panacea, Shockwave. I like the Shockwave upgrade. Great Shockwave. I'm going to take the pain there. Even more max HP. We're going to go over 200 in a moment. Absurd. 
just absurd. Seven energy this turn? Absurd. It's just ridiculous. That's too much energy. In a deck that draws cards entirely too well. Juzu Bracelet, meaning we won't encounter a fight here. Haven't seen Mind Bloom or Double Orb Walkers, so I'll take that. We've had first Demon Form, yes, but what about second Demon Form? No, we don't need second Demon Form, actually. Cute, though. Very cute. Need, no, want, maybe. Yeah, definitely. You're going to be food in a moment. Good luck. Just play the powers. That easy after all. time. We have it now. There we go. Nom? Nom. Beautiful. 206 max health. More of the same. We meet again. A cheery, disheveled fellow approaches you gleefully. You do not know this man. Have you any goods for me today? The usual. A fellow like me can't make it alone, you know. Create a potion, 82 gold, or our exhume plus to get a random relic. I have my potion. Surely we don't need potions here. Get the Eternal Feather, healing us at rest sites. Did we need that? Probably not. Do we enjoy having it? Sure we do. Oh, 33. Cool. Very cool. Guess I'll just have to get my health back. Or... Ah... Or what?
And that's why, um, yeah, that's why Madness is really good here. Because we can keep drawing the same card over and over again. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. We take a Reckless Charge. But I shall not take a Wild Strike. Uh, terrifying. Hmm. Very spooky. It's just spot weakness barricade. Next turn, lots of damage headed our way. The good news is, even if we draw absolute bupkis, we only take about half of our health. <laughs> it's only going to be 100 damage. Then some. Without intentionally throwing what I say, this run is beyond losing. Well, if turn two Reptomancer can't even hurt us, then what can threaten us? Is the question. I'm not sure there is much. We also have more health than Repto does. That's pretty cool. We also have more health than Nemesis would. But yeah, this turn is um, scary. <laughs> so much damage. So much damage. A whole lot I could do about it either. I guess we could draw one more card. Play Berserk. All right. Now what? If only we had that immolate. Yeah, 116 incoming damage. Pretty absurd. What happens if we Enlightenment Barricades and then Armaments it? Ooh, good question. Hmm. I think it would stay one cost, but I'm not actually 100% on that. Ouch. But my face, though? But my face, though. One. I failed to feed by doing that. I should have exhumed feed. Oh well. That is fine. Not the feed. Anything but the feed. Summon some daggers. I 
Thank you. Like it never happened. We have to rest anyways, right? Oh yeah, we do actually. You're right. We totally did. We totally have to rest here. Although we could have gotten a shovel from Repto, for example. So there was like a tiny chance that we didn't have to rest for 63 health, but we did have to rest for 63 health. Run is amazing, right? By True Grit Shockwave, I can Madness Flame Barrier. Sounds badass, although I'll draw a card. Dang it. Hmm. Oh well. Now I can eat them both easily enough. Just gotta remember not to burn the exhume this time. No off turns in this fight make it a bit challenging. Just take some damage, I guess. Fine. Nothing I haven't seen before. has gone. In barrier now one cost. Madness hitting Severed Soul was actually quite a bit of a problem. Just realizing. Get rid of that. Heal me. Delicious. <clears throat> and nutritious. The shapes are devoured. Our next opponent is Tim. Tim the Time Eater. Tim's not too big a threat here. Especially not with turn one demon form. Does this run count for streaking? Yes, it does. Was a random A20 heart run. It's gotten very silly, but doesn't mean it doesn't count.
Toasty. Maybe not quite the correct play. How's it going, Wolvenstorm? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not exactly a waipus kind of guy. Though, so those usually aren't my preferred games. Play Berserk. Is there a better waifu than Defect? Asking the important questions. Use you, sir. Plug person. Tasty. Escar, go home. We got 222 hit points. That's a lot of hit points. As we go into Act 4 here, two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. <laughs> Have I eaten here before? We deal 2298. A reasonable total for lunch with a side. Have I been here? before is this the most health i've had in a run it is not i think my most health going into act four was something like 280. which is a lot of health whiskey coke thanks for the prime sub and then we did a seated run that had uh 400 health going into act four how is the damage at the end there calculated? It's your current score, which is affected by a few things. Like souvenir here. What about duplication potion? That's surely better than uh, dex pod. Yeah, surely that's better than dex pod. Do I have a playlist for silly seated runs? I don't think I actually do have a playlist for seated runs of any kind. Hmm, go next. Let's play these. Let's go next. If we have to take damage and get it back later, that's fine. Let's help distill the chaos here. Although that could hit Berserk, right? I have one artifact, so it would have to hit double Berserk, and I still wouldn't die, so whatever. Nice. Three different powers, one of which was Berserk. Then draw two. This makes them vulnerable, but not weak. Kind of whatever. I guess Sever Souls, okay. We get rid of three cards. Yeah. A pretty good turn overall. There we go.
to play that demon form. There we go. Challenge to beat the game with only your starting relic. Can the same be done in Spire on Max Ascension? Yes. Uh, pretty difficult to do with only one relic. Um, but this run's actually a really good example of a run that would have been best for doing so. There's actually an achievement in the game for, for doing this too. One relic achievement called Who Needs Relics, which I do have a guide video on. Who Needs Relics? In that video, I show uh, killing the heart with only one relic, although on the lower difficulty. Doing it on the highest would require something extraordinary, and starting with Pandora's box would count as sufficiently extraordinary so as to be able to beat heart A20. Not always, mind you, but it's got a good chance. Got a good chance. Get weakened. Burn the burns. Burning pact. You should be able to die, actually. Even better. Cool. The burnination. Missing 35 health, so I need more from Reaper than this. This should probably highlight, by the way, why I value Spot Weakness over all of the other Strength Gain cards in this game. It's the only one you can play multiple times per turn for permanent Strength Up. Two hundred and thirty-seven hit points and an Entrench. Easy game. is one of the most busted uh, <laughs> one of the most busted runs we've had in a long time truly absurd just absurd we'll take one here I think I want to bash I've got Art of War I'll be going to dupe the Feel No Pain or the demon form. I have three artifacts, so I get no debuffs. Pretty cool. We can also just do pot and drench, actually. Very reasonable activity. Flame Barrier. Bummer. Okay. 
I'm not going to need Reaper. Get rid of that block so I can get more block with Aura Calcum here. Okay. Good time to dupe, yeah? Let's just dupe Feel No Pain. Time to exhum. Let's exhum Panacea so I can play Berserk right now. And then we can Demon Form on this turn. I go Flame Barrier, Sever Soul, ditch these cards. Saves the day. Cool. That heart is toast here. Absolutely toast. But wait, I want to do fun stuff. stuff. Get toasted. The damage. And then more fun stuff. Entrench. Burning Pact. Entrench. Burning Pact. Entrench. GG. GG. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.